Good morning children. Today again we are going to do the chapter The Magic of Touch Screen and today I am going to start from the place where Apple had launched a touch screen and they had uh, what to say uh, they had coined a term what is that PDA that is personal digital assistant actually all our mobiles and our computers are our personal digital assistant okay so this term was taken out by Apple at first okay Now coming up to this page. Simon Personal Communicator. Apple's PDA's featured handwriting recognition software and was controlled with a stylus. So like IBM's Simon Personal Communicator, IBM's this machine, Apple's PDA also featured handwriting recognition it featured handwriting recognition that means we could write messages software and was controlled with a stylus a stylus was there which controlled the messaging part there okay but apple's launches were too ambitious for the day apple whatever it launched now also whatever it launches is too ambitious for the time okay very ambitious people and the people who are discovering also they are very ambitious that's why it takes out the takes out the latest technology okay so as the handwriting recognition software did not work too well so it was too ambitious for the day it was very far behind the day okay the technology was not so much of advanced during that day so what happened the handwriting recognition software it did not work too well in those days the touch screen technology of those times was not that advanced the touch screen technology which was used in those days it was not that advanced as apple okay to give users a satisfying experience. The users were not satisfied with Apple. Okay. In 1997, Palm Computing introduced its own PDA. Pilot Palm's PDAs. And it witnessed more success than IBM and Apple's products. So, please underline this. Palm Computing they introduced their own PDA. What is a PDA? That is Personal Digital Assistant. Which was more successful than IBM and Apple's products. Mostly because its handwriting recognition software worked very well. So whose handwriting uh, recognition software worked very well? That is Palm Computer. Okay. It was simple to learn. And mimicked how a person writes on a piece of paper so mimicked means copied down copied down what what we write on the paper that thing that particular type of writing could be done in the screen okay of palm computer understood near the end of the decade university of delaware student wayne westerman published a research paper what was written there hand tracking finger identification just see what are the things we have now hand tracking finger finger identification and corded manipulation of a multi-touch surface the paper detailed the mechanism behind what we know today as multi-touch capacitive technology Okay, our mobiles are all multi-touch capacitive technology. Okay, whoever touches it, the screen works. Which has gone on to become a staple feature in modern touch screen equipped devices. What I said just now. 
the modern touch screen devices they all use multi touch capacitive technology okay Westerman and his teacher John Elias formed a company called Finger Works. Mark down that Finger Works. Okay, the name of the company was Finger Works in nineteen ninety eight. It began producing a line of multi touch gesture based products. They produced a line, a what to say, a simultaneous, what to say, uh, pictures of. multi touch gesture based products including a gesture gesture based keyboard also called touch screen touch screen for people suffering from disabilities people many people were suffering from disabilities also so what did they take out a touch screen for people suffering from disabilities finger works were brought by apple in 2005 now finger works like with the fingers which we are using nowadays on the screen this was brought by apple in the year 2005 many feel that this acquisition was the development of the iphone was after was my word has been cut away here was due to the development of the iphone okay apple's iphone changed the world so our uh, apple's iphone it changed the worlds perceived touch screens forever whatever the world had perceived for all these long long years all had been changed by apple touch screen. Okay, Apple iPhone. It was a watershed product because it made touch screen a mass consumed entity. Because a huge lot of people could use that screen. Okay, so it was a mass consumed entity, mass consumed thing. The iPhone was the first product which made touch screens a truly user friendly product. that iphone of apple was the first product which made touch screen a user friendly product to all people all people began to understand how to use this product okay the touch sensitive screen that iphone uses includes a layer of capacitive material so the touch sensitive screen which iphone uses what does it use a layer of capacitive material however the capacitors are arranged according to a coordinate system the capacitors are arranged there okay in a coordinate system means one coordinates the other okay its circuit re can sense changes at each point along the grid so its its circuit okay the circuit which it is using its circuitry can sense any changes at any point along the grid so this ibm was very what to say user friendly that's why okay since it could sense any changes there in the circuit every point on the grid generates its own signal every point on the grid which was there within the iphone it generated its own signal it gener it gave an own it gave its own signal to the user hmm when touched and relays that signal to the processor and gives a signal to the processor also which is inside the phone this allows for the location of simultaneous touches in multiple locations so this is the uh, process which is allowing multi touch in the screen okay every grid has got its own way of reading the touch so everywhere suppose i touch here and somebody else touches the other touches the other place so what is it doing it allows for the location of simultaneous touches in multiple locations if anywhere 
where we touch it can be read by the uh, what to say the processor okay another crucial aspect of the great utility of iphone touch screens is the software the software which it was using which backs it up efficiently the software is designed to interpret the touch patterns the software which it is using is also designed to interpret the touch patterns and differentiate between a single touch a sliding touch or a pinch touch it also differentiates between what is a single touch when we give a single touch to it when we give a sliding touch we are sliding something carrying it down and carrying it up or a pinch touch a pinch touch where we are separating things from each other okay combining all of these factors has resulted in the great user experience that has since become a benchmark for the techno world so this is a the apple iphone is a benchmark okay that means it is a standing point of the technological world since 2007 many companies have emulated emulated the iphone model with great success so since 2007 many companies have emulated the that means imitated emulated means imitated okay they tried to make a new one okay of the iphone model with great success thanks to the rising popularity and demand for touch screen phones they are all thankful to us that we are using the touch screen phones <coughs> the technology has become very affordable too so now the technology of course it is affordable because we all are using all these phones and mobiles phones telephone uh, mobiles and laptops and all isn't it so okay children so this much today with the third part of the explanation i'll be sending you all only question number 6 from this chapter we will be doing only the question answers and we'll be doing meanings and i'll be sending you all some make sentences also please solve it up take your time and send me okay children goodbye